What's going on guys? It's Max. This is Max too. What's up? Today we're going surfing. Uh, this will be my fourth vlog for the YouTube channel. You can see the surfboard right here, kind of sketchy. But we made it work. We made it fit in the good old G-Wagon. So we're heading up to, what's the place called? Cerritos. Cerritos. Apparently it's got really good surfing. I've never been surfing before, so I'm going to try it out. Don't know how it's going to go, but I'm going to try my best. I've been like wakeboarding and snowboarding and skateboarding stuff before, so hopefully that helps a little bit. But I don't know. I don't know how big the waves are. This should be pretty good. All right. Pretty surfable today. All right. Well, we'll see how it goes. But it's a bit of a road trip. So we're taking the trip up there. We're meeting up with another friend. And we're going to head up there. I'm also going to take some photography while we're up there. So maybe you'll see that on my Instagram. But yeah, let's head on up and let's try out some surfing. Peace. Okay guys, so I'm back from my first time out in the water and wow, that was a lot harder than I expected. I think the hardest part is just getting out to the wave. Like as you're trying to get out there, there's waves that are just hitting you so hard and uh, I'm not used to that. I'm not used to big waves. I come from Vancouver where like the biggest wave we have will make it to maybe your knees. So uh, that was interesting but it was super fun. Um, I got one wave and then it slammed me under and I hit the ground and it really hurt um, and then I lost like my breath and I thought I was gonna die but we're good we're alive so that's sick um, I'm gonna go out again once I like catch my breath and get all this salt water out of my out of my lungs but I need a breath because I thought I just about died see you guys in a minute peace Okay, what's up guys? So we just made it to the edge of the beach. At the end of this beach, there's this massive rocky bit here that I'm sure you guys can see behind me. And there's this huge piece right here that waves crash over. We've been taking some photos there with my friends. I got one, I'll put it right here. That's my friend Maddie. Um, she was helping us model today. And then I also got one, another one that I'll put right there that uh, is just of the rocks and I think it's super cool. Um, I've never seen waves this big in my life and it's kind of intimidating. I've been super scared to get my camera wet but uh, in general it's been alright so far. I, I broke the edges off my little prism thing because I fell but oh well the price is paid. Um, now I think we're just going to go get some food because it's lunch time. Yeah you guys can probably see the, the huge waves behind me. Um, but I think we're gonna get something to eat. It's lunchtime, super hungry, we're working our butts off. Uh, I tried s uh, surfing again, we went onto the waves, got destroyed again. Uh, I have a huge amount of respect for surfers now. I had no idea it was like that. The waves really just hold you under the water and it's brutal. So uh, <laughs> if you haven't tried surfing, try it, but on small waves. I'm just gonna get some more B-roll down here of these waves crashing into the rocks. And you guys can see that, it's super cool. Um, Every seventh wave is a big one apparently, and every seventh, seventh wave is a really big one. I'm gonna try and wait for the seventh set to come through and uh, get some cool slow-mo shots of it, and then we're gonna head out. These rocks, these rocks that you can see behind me are absolutely brutal on your feet. Like my feet hurt so much right now. So it's kind of annoying to walk back. My friends already walked back because they didn't want to stand on the rocks any longer. I found a little sandy bit, so I've just been chilling here, taking some photos. So yeah, we're gonna head to lunch right now and I'll see you guys there. Peace.
What's going on guys? So in my last clip, I said that we were going to a restaurant to go eat, but that changed. Um, we found this little road, this old town road that uh, went up to this mountain here. And now we're on top of a mountain. And it was really difficult to get up. It took us like 30 minutes in the G-Wagon, off-roading and stuff, but uh, we made it. There's an amazing view behind me, as you guys will see. I'm gonna take some photos of my friends, and I'm gonna take some photos of the car, and the view, take some drone shots, and just get everything up here. So I hope you guys enjoy this amazing view, and uh, I'll see you guys after some B-roll. Peace. Hey, what's going on guys? Um, I'm back here at Mikasa, or actually Max's house, but um, I'm in the office. I'm about to go do some editing from the stuff that I shot today. Uh, I thought I'd just fill you guys in with how the rest of the day went. We drove back, it got really dark, and we couldn't stop to get anything to eat, so we came back, we just had something to eat here. But in general, the day was really good. Uh, surfing was kind of sketchy. It was really fun though. I love the adrenaline that it gives you when you're like stuck in this washing machine of a wave and you get the full Samsung spin cycle while you're under the water. It's a huge adrenaline rush, and if you guys know me personally, you know that I love adrenaline, and I love uh, thrill-seeking, so it's kind of fun, but definitely, like your first time out there, it's pretty scary when you get stuck into that wave. If you guys are wondering why I'm wearing headphones, it's so I can hear what the mic is hearing right now. Um, I don't know how goofy it looks, but uh, I'm gonna take a look after I'm done here. I think one of the main things that I've seen down here in Mexico and in other places around the world, like Vancouver especially, um, not so much Toronto, but Vancouver and Mexico for sure, is just how beautiful this earth is and um, I'm really grateful that I'm getting the opportunity to explore it and move all around and see what this world has to offer. And you'll see in most of my videos now, like there's a lot of B-roll and I know some people have commented on it, some people like it, some people don't, but personally, like the cinematics of the, the beautiful places I'm going to is what I really enjoy making. Um, and it's not that I don't enjoy talking to the camera, it's just my passion is photography and videography. In the future now, I'm gonna be gonna do some more videos, more like tutorial and editorial stuff. So like videos of me on how I do my editing and how I go day to day doing photography and videography, things I do, the gear I use stuff like that. Thank you for all the love and support. You guys sharing these videos with your friends and family means a ton to me. Let's keep that up. Thank you very much guys. Have a wonderful day. Peace. Peace.